Well, I can tell you from living here, you know, pretty much most of the time it's a clear sunny day. But it doesn't have significance on the other days. See what I mean? Only sometimes. I mean, uh, 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 ravens or crows, they, 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 they're around, they call all the time. Is every single time when they, they call or do something, is that an omen? You see? Yes, they deliver omens, but not everything they do is necessarily an omen. And, and that's my point. The omen, the omen side, when you know it's an omen, it is interpretive. It's contextual. And so I said, well, let's take this a little bit further. Let's figure this out. And that's how I got to anomalies. And anomalies, when, I, I don't want to get into it now because it's a long explanation and it will come up later, come up more. But yes, you know, um, the omens is very problematic from a, a usage point of view, like I said. And especially when you start saying, yeah, but what does it mean? Uh, those meanings, they vary, they change, they're context specific when you really study them. The people using it don't think so. To them, it makes total sense. They, it, like in this case, well, it's a good omen to Don Juan. He has many reasons why he's saying that. It's not just because it's a clear, clear day. It's a clear day in conjunction with the overall context, right? See? So it's not the omen itself doesn't tell you specifically. It is the entire context which creates the meaning, yeah? not, not the thing itself. But by, by implication and the way our brain works, the way we use language, we assume that the omen always is exactly what it's not, not so. And, and again, it's very hard to use omens in the way it's presented and used, right? I mean, people think so, and they think they're using it, but they don't pay attention to when they don't use it.